Right, welcome back. Here's just a quick update to the things I've been doing in the past month or so. I've been having a bit of tweaking time with the 3D printer because I've been printing some parts for the next stage of the build. I also made this about 5mm smaller, so about 2.5mm on each side, smaller just so it could fit deeper into the into the back of the box as I'm using quite a thin a thin battery so I'm going to try to get this, that as far back as possible to uh, fit everything in. So I've been so I've been 3D printing of these little brackets and the idea is that I can glue them to the box and then the battery will sit in there like that and then for the top edge I've made just the same again but thinner so they'll kind of be another two round the battery like this to hold it in place but quite low down to the right hand side here also to hold the actual screen in the box the edge of the box is at 90 degrees so what I've done is I've made these little pieces here as you can see they're just over 90 degrees, they're actually 92 degrees so it allows me to glue them to the box but the actual panel on the front will actually be square and also in there there's a little I don't know if you'll focus, there's a little captive uh, a place for a captive uh, nut to go so I can just glue them in and when I want to take the front off on and off it's quite easy to do just screw, unscrew and screw them in there so I think the next thing I'll be doing is uh, try and get them all, get everything glued in place and get this all glued in place. I'm going to have to work out a method to get them all at the same depth. I think I can actually use this as a gauge and just hook that over the edge of the box and then glue them like that. So that's my idea anyway. So um, I'll just show you a bit of footage of the 3D printing. Hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next time.